everybody, Cindy Andrew here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, we're going to be working on my creative year, and I was just looking, and I don't know if you guys can see this or not. See where it's like busting? And the actual cover is just busting, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, I've got this wonderful little masking tape here. Yeah, I know it's not a forever fix, but you know what? It's going to make me happy right now. So I'm just going to put this masking tape on here. Probably should do the inside. I probably should do it, you know, as a more permanent solution. But it's just bugging me right now. So, <coughs> pardon me. So this is my um, quick fix as it is. All right. So today we're going to talk about, um, as you guys know, this um, this month's topic and this week's uh, prompt is temper and. Of course, you guys know I'm doing chronic pain, but you know, I got thinking about it and I'm like, you know, it's temp the actual definition of temper is a person's state of mind and seems of in terms of being happy or uh, I'm sorry, being angry or being calm. Okay. So, you know, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, you know, there, that's much better. That makes me happy. <laughs> so my temper is good. Um, so I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, I don't want to do, like, angry or or calm. I don't want to do that type of a definition. So I chose this piece of paper, and what I'm going to do, when I think about temper, I think about the weather. Doesn't that sound funny? And I don't mean it by temperature. I mean it by looking at the actual weather. Let me bring in a little bit. And what does that do for my temper? And my immediate thought was sun makes me happy. It makes my, it makes me calm. It makes my spirit uplift. I just, I am a very comfortable person when I have sun. When it's cloudy, when it's rainy, I, it's not a good thing. And you know, yes, I'm thinking about weather and I'm thinking about um, my pain levels when it comes to the weather, all of it. And um, <clears throat> I feel my temper or my temperament or however you want to look at it, um, my, the degree of my temper when it comes to being angry or being calm goes all about the sun right so that's what I'm gonna do today now um, I just got these paints I went to Jerry's Artorama last weekend uh, with a friend of mine Carol Minton as you guys know her she's an awesome artist as well um, and they had uh, Jerry's Artorama had their 50th anniversary sale and they had these, and I can't, I think is how we say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. I apologize if I do. But they had this pack of five. And normally they're like $40 for the pack. I wonder if I have to put a hole in that. Nope, here comes the paint. Okay. Um, they had this five pack, and they're normally like $40 for the five pack. And I got them for 20 bucks. So I thought, yeah, that's really cool. So I had to pick these up because I've never used them before and I want to see how they do. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start out painting a little bit of a background on this. I want to see, let's put this over here just in case I need more or less or whatever. Um, and I've got some deco art, um, just a white paint here also. And we're going to see what this does. Can you tell I'm in the mood to play? I want to see. Okay, first of all, these are um, neons. So they are going to be a transparent, which I, I figured. That's not a problem. And I'm just going to use this catalyst here and just get some blue down. I don't want, you know, a ton. But I just, I thought I'd do something around um, how I feel, how my temper is. Um, angry, calm. When I'm I'm around sun. When I'm in sun, I'm I'm a very happy person. I I like um, I like the feel of the sun on my face. Um, I I'm just happier. I'm a I'm a much happier, much calmer person. When it's raining and and cloudy and it just makes me grumpy and not angry so much. Just you know, not happy. Uh, so. 
yeah, moving to the south was the perfect thing for me to do. Now, keeping it on the chronic pain spectrum, um, we also know that most people, I'm not going to say everybody because everybody's different, but most people that have chronic pain or pain of some type, when the pressure changes uh, with between the hot, I'm sorry, the, the sun and the rain, our bodies feel it. Um, I'll be honest with you, this morning I woke up, it's really, really cloudy outside, and my back is killing me. But I told myself, it's okay, I'm going to sit here, do at least one video, and then we'll go back and see what else I can do. So, let me dry this up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, um, I dried this up, and I actually, I love it. I think it looks fabulous. So now... I want to play around. I've got some archival links here. I've got uh, Sunflower and Forget-Me-Not. And I just want to play around. I want to put something more on the background on this. And I've got this, uh, whoops, this Inkadoo. Let me get baby wipe. Um, I've got this Inkadoo stamp. It's an old one. And I want to just kind of put a little bit of background texture on here. So that's what I'm going to do use the yellow just random <clears throat> you know don't don't forget um, you know there's new people watching so uh, when you're doing your backgrounds um, make sure you give it it doesn't you know it doesn't have to be boom stand out but see it's there there's a little bit of just sun rays is the way I'm thinking of them coming down I love it makes me happy so, and then I wanted to do a little bit in the blue as well, um, the forget-me-not. I just thought that would be kind of cool to see the, the rays come down in the blue. I looked for another um, style like this, and I can't find... I have another one that's kind of on this line, but I don't know where it is. So we're going to use this one. So, and again, this one's just uh, very lightly in the background which is fine. It doesn't have to stand out in your face. Okay, you see them? I love them. All right, so now I know I don't have to with archival ink, but this is just a habit I've gotten into. I just kind of shoot it a little bit, make sure it's everything's dry. Just a habit of mine. Too many times I've had stuff smudge. All right. <clears throat> now this stencil, this is actually a Gina Aaron stencil. This is one that um, she was cutting prototypes to see what it looked like. And uh, she sent me this one. So I'm actually going to use this. And then I found this stencil, which is the Crafter's Workshop. Uh, it's number 28, 287S and Sam. And I want to use these together. So what I'm going to do, do I want it over here? I want to do it like that. Let's start with this one. I'm going to start with this sun and figure out where I want to put it. Because I want to do some journaling. So let's start with the sun. Now I do have, um, like I said, the Sennelier uh, paint. But again, this is a fluorescent, so it's going to be um, see-through. And I kind of want to make this a little bit darker. So I'm going to use this. Uh, this is Dina Wakeley's, and it's lemon. Now, I still have my catalyst here. I'm just going to use it. It's just because I'm lazy, and I don't feel like getting out my... Oh, maybe I won't use this. Oh, maybe I will. Um, yeah, no, I don't like that. So let's get out my sponge. No biggie. It's right here next to me. So let's take my sponge and get this all evened out. Oops, don't move. Don't move, stencil. Okay, I just wanted to put just kind of like a sun here. All right. Now it went through, which is fine. Because I'm going to keep playing with it, so. That's because I did it with that spatula thingy. And it pushed the paint right up underneath it. And that's okay, because I'm going to make that solid anyways. So let's just go ahead and do that. I think my sponge is falling apart. I'm having a rough morning, goodness. 
You know what? I'm actually going to go and make this a little bit bigger. I still want the, um, the circles there, which is fine. See, so there's always a fix. You can always fix things. Now, I do want to put a little bit of this orange in here. So I'm just putting it over here on what I'm using for my palette right now, which is a dictionary. See? <laughs> it's my dictionary. All right, let me just get some of this orange in here. There we go. All right, hold on just a minute. I do have a phone call coming in that I have to take. I will be right back. All right, so while I had to take that phone call, I figured I'd dry that up, which I did. Now, um, and I just kind of see where it was messed up here in the middle where I was supposed to have that. I just kind of filled that all in with the yellowish slash orange, which is cool. Now, I want to take this one. And I want to put it right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pink. Uh, let me bring over my palette here so you can see what I'm doing. Move over things. I'm going to put some pink. Love the brightness of these colors. With a little bit of this orange. and some of the white so this is what i plan to do let's see what happens cool all right let's add a little bit more of that pink a little bit more of that white and we're just gonna make our rays come out here so anyways I you know like I said I know you guys know what I'm talking about when I talk about how when the weather changes you know our bodies turn into uh, what do they call them barometers yeah and all of that affects my temper um, when I'm hurting I'm I'm not saying I'm not a nice person, but I'm not happy. <laughs> um, it, you know, it in honest layman terms, it, it really stinks. It's not fun and love it. Check that out. Not cool. All right, let me dry this up. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely affects my temper and I'm not um, a happy person when I'm hurting. So, you know, it's all, it's all part of the chronic pain. It's all part of the journey that we're on. And, you know, it's all good. We have to deal with what we have to deal with. So let me dry this up. Then I'm going to, I want to do a little bit more here in the middle. I don't know. Maybe I'll make it a happy face. I don't know. I'll be right back. All right. I've got a black Stabilo. And I'm just going to wing this. <laughs> That's the way I always do things is just wing it. So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing in. Let me bring in so you can see. Just drawing a little face here, that's all. That's all I'm doing, just drawing. Make that a little bit bigger. A little nose, a little mouth. Sorry, I have my headset on. I was just, I can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> so I'm just taking a water brush and just taking the Stabilo and just waking it up a little bit. I love using these Stabilo pencils. And we're just going to make her, her, me, I guess, 
a happy temper because the sun's out. Her mouth looks funny, but you know what? She's happy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And her eyes are different sizes. <laughs> See, it's that self-critique here. But you know what? It's okay. I don't care. I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. And I really, you know, I really hope you guys can get that. Um, I don't want to call it an attitude, but that that freedom in your art. Just have fun with it. That that mouth looks really atrocious, but you know what? It's all good. All right. So now, what I want to do, I'm going to put some, I just brought it out. I want some washi tape here. Let me back up. Okay. I want to, I like this tape. I think this is a Dina Wakely tape, maybe, with the hearts on it. I'm almost positive that's who it is. And I just, I really like this tape. Let's do this. Let's do it right about here. I just really like that tape. Where did my scissors go? I don't want to put it up there, do I? And I want to take my big, 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 big marker, my Sharpie. And just give it a black edge. Well, you can't really see that, but trust me, I'm putting a black edge on it. There's something, I don't know what it is, but whenever I do pages like this or anything that's almost like a standalone, I just, I feel like I have to put a black edge on it. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel quite finished for me if I don't put this black border on it. So I will put the black border on just to make it look more complete to me. Now I want to um, I'll do a couple things here. Let me grab my white. All right, I just want to kind of highlight some of these circles. I'm not going to completely outline them because I want them in the background. But I just want to kind of highlight them a little bit. I woke up this morning, my back completely screaming, and um, you know, I told myself, it's going to hurt and scream whether I'm here doing something I enjoy doing, or laying on the couch watching Netflix, or you know, whatever, and I just, I really wanted to do this today, so here it is. All right, now I'm going to um, do a little bit of journaling down here. I'm going to do that, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so here is my temper. And basically what I wrote on the bottom, it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's just how I feel. It says, when the sun is shining, my body, heart, and soul is so much happier. When I feel happier from the sun, I seem to be able to handle my pain a little easier. Without the sun... My pain is stronger and much harder to deal with. And I'm pretty sure that there's quite a few people in the chronic pain realm out there that feel the exact same way. Um, but I would love to see your take on temper. Uh, don't forget to, you know, check out the other artists' um, projects for this week's prompt. 
And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, share with your friends if there's anybody you know that's in the chronic pain. You know, I try to do the best I can to help them through it. So, um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And I'm going to play. So, enjoy.
right guys so here's my front side we already talked about that here's my back side and I was just playing if that's gonna come through nope I was just playing around um, you know just having fun with it this is a calendar that I have this year that's got all these pages with really cool sayings on them and that one I thought was kind of cool and appropriate for today so like I said I'm just I'm just playing okay done all right I hope you guys enjoy and um, don't forget have fun that's what life's all about happy creating and I'll see you next week thanks bye bye